Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have Mary Ellen's cowgirl costume. I absolutely love it when I can review historical items for you. Um, I love adding historical items to my collection, though my personal opinion on this is that this is kind of a copycat of Molly's kind of like dude ranch outfit. Um, honestly, Molly will probably steal this from Mary Ellen. Um, don't know what that means Mary Ellen will do for Halloween, but that's okay. Um, I think this is going to look adorable on Molly, too. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we have all that good stuff. Um, so the cowboy boots are really just over the top, bright red, giant star on them. I think that's fantastic. I do have, oh, nice. Um, whoop, let, me get, let me turn it this way. There we go. Very nice. So this uh, cowboy boots I do have Velcro. That's really nice um, because what that means is that it's going to be easier to slip on the doll. Now, if you have like tights or socks, it might be a little bit more challenging, but for the most part, it's going to work out really great. The classic cowboy hat. This is a, a nice, pretty stiff material. So I, unless you step on it or sit on it, I think it'll hold its shape pretty well. We have... Um, See, this is a just plaid plaid um, top, but there's no Velcro on the back. And so does that mean these are, oh my gosh, these are real buttons. Look at that. Oh my gosh, those are real buttons. That's going to be a pain, but so worth it. So worth it. Oh my goodness, American Girl, you surprised me. I surely thought this this was going to be Velcro down the front. Nope. Real buttons. That is so cool. And then a skirt has a little piece of Velcro in the back. This is a very, very simple, um, almost circle skirt. Not quite circle skirt, but a very, you know, this is going to be really good for mix and match if you want to. Um, but it's denim-like. Uh, yeah, so this is um, a pretty, it's a heavier cloth than like what they use for the clothing. Um, but it is the same that they used um, for the shirt. It's the same, which is awesome. And then, of course, the wonderful pamphlets that we always love and adore. So this is Mary Ellen, 1954. Um, unlike past Halloween costumes, they did not include a treat bag. Um, I did see there's a, another YouTuber who um, got this outfit way before I did. And she... I, uh, I think walked you through a craft on how to make that, and I think this would be really simple to make, um, if you wanted to copy this treat bag. But I think I'm, if I remember, I'm gonna try to link that craft project in the link, um, in the description below, because I think it's worth it. Howdy, partner. Partner. Howdy, partner. Um. Okay. Cool. So, like many kids in the 1950s, Mary Ellen Larkin is fascinated by the Wild West. She loves to pretend she is a hero in a Wild West adventure, riding a horse to deliver medicine or save the town from bandits, just like the shows she watches on television. For Halloween, Mary Ellen dresses up as a cowgirl with her western-style hat, French shirt, denim skirt, and cowboy boots. She is set for a rugged trick-or-treat adventure. Over the summer, Mary Ellen had real-life adventures on her family's road trip out west. She admired, admired the geysers at Yellowstone and walked in Davy Crockett's footsteps at the Alamo. Now in her cowgirl duds on Halloween, she'll swagger along the streets of Daytona Beach with her friends. And of course, you can't forget Scooter. Trotting along with her, she goes trick-or-treating, so, so she pretends Scooter is her cow pony. Oh my goodness, imitating her favorite cowboy on TV. Let's see what kind of Vittles? Man, shows you how awful, how much I just don't watch Wild West stuff. Let's see what kind of vittles, vitals? Like I think, like I see that and I think Skittles. So I'm gonna say vitals. Vittles? We can wrestle up at this next house. Oh my goodness. The howdy partner though. Like what? <laughs> okay, enough on the pamphlet. You're not here to see the pamphlet. You're here to see the outfit. Okay. So I'm already super impressed that those are real buttons. I love the embroidery. I've got the fringe. You've got a really stiff and strong structured hat. You've got awesome cowboy boots. 
uh, this is turning out to be a real win. So I'm going to pause the video, get this on to Mary Ellen, see if it actually is a win, and I'll give my full thoughts there. Okay, real quick. So I'm in the process of changing Mary Ellen into the full outfit, but I wanted to show you because I really think the skirt could be a good mix and match piece. So this is uh, the top from her sledding outfit. And so this would be a good kind of just, because I think it's going to be a good mix and match piece. I just wanted to throw that out there while I was changing her from that outfit to this outfit, uh, just to give you an idea of why I, you know, if you don't buy this for Molly, if you don't buy it for Mary Ellen, you might want a nice denim skirt, which I don't know why you buy a whole cowgirl outfit just for a denim skirt, but you know, to each their own. Okay, another pause to interrupt to show you. So um, this is the pamphlet picture. It shows it tucked in, the shirt tucked in, but I wanted to just, again, take a pause and show you that you could leave it tucked out or untucked, untucked, yeah, not tucked out, untucked, um, and it would work just as well. Um, yeah, these are real buttons. It's pretty nice. Okay, here she is. So um, I have actually never taken Mary Ellen's hair out of her mat her factory ponytail and I was trying to get the hat to still fit on her head which it can but it looks like low like that which if you don't mind that that's no big deal especially if you're shooting up at an angle like that for a picture but I tried to like you know okay can I get her hair like to stick like like this and I could tolerate that um but it her hair is too bouncy so it actually won't stick like that try as it might it actually won't um, and I know I joked in the um, beginning, I said, you know, the hats, you know, has pretty stiff material, probably won't bend or break unless you sit on it. And then I almost sat on it, getting her dressed. Um, so I'm just going to take her hat off because it just looks silly. Um, I think her hat is adorable, but it's not going to work with her manufacturer ponytail. So if you still have your doll up with her ponytail, um, this might be a good time to try and take it off to match the hat. Um, this is the first outfit where I thought of Mary Ellen's, where the, the hair has been an issue. Um, I don't know, maybe Scooter can wear it. I don't know. I will say there is, oops, sorry, Scooter. Um, there is a tag at the back here. Um, and this isn't adjustable as far as I can tell. Um, this does move. You could have it, have it backwards or forwards, but I think the tradition is to put it forwards like that. Um, but it's not adjustable in any way, so... It's actually a little too big for Scooter, but he can wear it. I do have Scooter down here. There you go, Scooter. Fantastic. So, um, overall, I like this. Um, it is, I think it's cute. Uh, it doesn't scream Halloween to me, but that may be just because I've been to one too many rodeos in my life. Um, yeah, it, it screams rodeo to me. But it's a cute outfit overall. I think the colors are great on Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen does, you know, some people, sometimes people say like people with like strawberry blonde hair or reddish tinted hair don't do well wearing red. But I think Mary Ellen pulls it off really well. Um, but again, it doesn't matter what other people think. Wear whatever you want. Um, so Mary Ellen will probably be wearing this for Halloween, but Molly will probably steal it at some point in the future to mimic the dude ranch outfit. Uh, definitely patriotic vibes, definitely, for me, rodeo. I get a lot of rodeo feeling from it. Um, maybe she performs with Sage at a horse show. I don't know. Um, overall, I like it. I love the fact that they're real buttons. I think a lot of, a lot of detail went into the top, which is why, like, the skirt's kind of, like, bare bones, but that's okay. I think that's, that's perfectly okay. I have a really detailed top. All the interest is there. But then kind of bare bones skirt is fine. Again, that skirt can be used for uh, mix and match. But you can also take the top and put it with a pair of jeans. And it will work just as well. Uh, the cowboy boots, I think, are... Um, I think that the white star may be a little over the top. Um, but I do appreciate that there was the Velcro in the back that made that super simple to get on. I wasn't having to fight, fight her to get those on which was great. Um, I don't always have that kind of success with cowboy boots for American Girl dolls. Um, so overall, 
um, I'm going to give this a solid A. Um, I think what would have sent it over the edge to be an A+, plus is if there had been um, the little trick-or-treat bag. Because you like you gave me the little trick-or-treat bag, American Girl. You made it in the picture. Why, why is it not part of the set? Um, I thought, honestly, it's the only thing I have to say about that. Um, everything else is just so darn cute. Uh, I... I think it's a really great um, outfit. Um, I, I have to be honest, I haven't fully read all of Mary Ellen's stories, um, so I don't know how accurate all the information of the pamphlet was, but um, I think this is definitely a weather appropriate outfit for Florida in the 50s. And my overall rating again is an A. So uh, again, I'm glad I could review a historical outfit for you on this channel. And I hope you will join me next time. Bye for now.